My name is Sharice Nelson. I'm a second grade teacher in the Upper Dublin School District in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Jill Castellano, social studies teacher, Florida. I'm Kenneth Dukes. I'm a school bus driver in Shelby County, Alabama. Teaching the whole child to me means not just addressing the academic needs, but the social emotional needs of the student. As a school bus driver, I'm the, I start the process of education. You know, when they get on my bus, you know, greeting them, you know, understanding them, talking, developing that rapport and that relationship with them. I look at the whole child when they walk in my room, and then I also think about the child that leaves my room. Um, who am I sending into this world? Do they have the skills that they need when they leave me. My name is Joshua Katz. I am a high school math teacher in Orlando, Florida. My name is Rachel Quinn, and I teach seventh grade English learners at Harshman Magnet Middle School in Indianapolis, Indiana. My name is Renisha Dyer. I teach fourth grade at Olive Chapel Elementary in Apex, North Carolina. My name is Amber Riel, and I teach 10th grade math at Waianae High School in Waianae, Hawaii. I do not believe that all the standardized testing is really helping our students. We've got benchmarks and on top of the benchmarks you've got fluency checks and vocabulary checks and not only did they have to take the English learner proficiency exam for English but they're also taking district testing and now next week they're rolling into their state testing when we have this huge focus on testing as assessing what a student knows we've missed it we've missed the picture we haven't prepared the student in the right way my name is Tamasha Imidi I teach first grade at Bow Lake Elementary School in Washington State Stephanie Swenson K5 music Assistant, South Dakota. My name is Donna Seriano. I teach math and science at Waianae Elementary School on Oahu, Hawaii. My name is Tamara Jones. I'm a special education resource teacher at Ursa Minor Elementary in Anchorage, Alaska. Tequila Rucker, third grade at Germanshire Elementary in Memphis, Tennessee. My name is Jessica Salazar Chat, and I teach English language development to high school students in Tucson, Arizona. As a new teacher, I think it's important to be involved in the union because that's where you get all of your support. If it wasn't for the association, I would be gone. I would have left my, in the first year. And so I received support. I'm empowered to stand for what's right and to also fight for what the students need. There's a lot more that we can do together, collectively, than we can on our own. And it's important that our voices are heard. I feel like I'm part of a solution rather than part of a problem. The union's not just something that takes money and is out there and not just something that can help me in the end product when I have a problem. They're an overreaching opportunity to, for development. Being a part of a national union is super powerful. Like I love being able to uh, call someone in Colorado that I know that had the same problem as I have in Washington and they'll connect me with somebody in Connecticut and I just think that's so cool. My name is Lee Spears. I teach high school physics at Norris Tenary High School which is in the suburbs of Philadelphia. My name is Julius B. Thomas. I'm a professor and a counselor at Rio Hondo College in Whittier, California. I'm Roxanne Bush and I teach fifth grade reading at Vista del Sol Elementary in El Paso, Texas. My name is Gus Morales. I am a teacher in Holyoke, Massachusetts and I'm also the president of the Holyoke Teachers Association. My name is Kathy Smith. I'm a paraeducator for the Olympia School District. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sarah Savapou. Je suis prof de français à Antioch High School à Antioch en Californie. My name is Carmen Hill and I am a school nurse for the St. Louis Public Schools in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Maggie Hotlinger. I'm a student member and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I feel like sometimes the, uh, the politicians forget that they went to school. You have to have some say and should have some say over what's going on in your profession now and for the future. Outside effects are affecting your classroom every day and it's your duty as a teacher to stand up for your students and the best way to stand up for your students is to become active. I testified at a Senate hearing in for the Washington Legislature as a paraeducator. Every single teacher I talk to in this country is no I can't see doing this the way it's going right now for another 10 years so if that's your answer if you know that things are wrong right now then the time to step up is right now. Email a senator tell your story um, show up to a rally. If we're all going to make a change or make a difference, we all have to do it together. Every decision we make needs to be focused around around the student. And the student's the important thing. It's what we do. It's why we do it. And, and if they don't have a voice and we can't provide them that voice, then they're the, really the losers in this whole proposition. My name is Susan Simmons. I'm a special education teacher for the Germantown Municipal School District in Germantown, Tennessee. I'm Shannon Mills, I teach middle school social studies at Carlisle County Middle School, and I'm from Mayfield, Kentucky. My name is Noel Dixon, I teach third grade from Apex, North Carolina. I'm Laura Montgomery, 
I'm a homeschool consultant in Little Rock, Arkansas. Chelsea Herrig, NEA student chair from Minnesota. My name is Kevin Harper. I'm an ELL teacher in Rock Springs, Wyoming. My name is Jay Johnson. I teach English composition at Gateway Technical College in Kenosha, Wisconsin. My name is Gretchen Rossberg. I teach physical science for Washoe County School District in Reno, Nevada. My name is Esmeralda Correa. And my name is Karen Tyler. And, and we, we teach, teach kindergarten, kindergarten at Nellie Mueller School <laughs> in Oregon. <laughs> we'll do that again. I'm an advocate for you, myself, the children, the families. And for the profession. Being a teacher is just something that I've always wanted to do. Um, ever since I was little, I was my little brother's teacher. I made him do um, math problems after school with me being his teacher with my little blackboard set up. I became a teacher to make the world a better place. I always wanted to be president, and I learned that I wanted to be president because my second grade teacher told me that he was the boss of me, so I asked who was the boss of him, and he said the principal, and I said who's the boss of him, and he said the president, and I said who's the boss of him, and he said nobody, so I wanted to be president. So I started working at an after-school care program, and I realized that I worked a lot better with kids than I thought I did, and I still got to be the boss, but in like this really beautiful, awesome way. And so I went into my undergrad for education, and I just loved every second of it.